On the Waterfront was directed by Ilya Kazan, hope I'm pronouncing that right, who also directed Gentleman's Agreement, and it stars one of the greatest actors of all time, Marlon Brando, delivering one of the greatest performances of all time. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Instead of a bum, which is what I am. Let's face it. Yeah. This is one of those films that has one very obvious high point that overshadows everything else. Let me cut straight to the chase. Marlon Brando's performance in this film is legendary. The most deserving best actor win up to that point. It was one of the earliest examples of method acting in film. Basically, acting that feels more natural, sincere, and raw, which aims at creating a more true-to-life character. Marlon Brando was the bridge from classic actors such as Clark Gable and Humphrey Bogart to more modern actors like Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. This is acting of the highest caliber, due to expert delivery and great attention to little details such as subtleties in the facial expressions. Brando completely disappears into the role. It feels like you're watching a real person rather than a fictional character in a story. This is an incredible performance and the definitive highlight of the film. However, the downside is that he makes the rest of the cast look subpar in comparison. <laughs> but, but I'm not really being fair, the rest of the cast does a great job too. Marlon Brando plays Terry Malloy, a former prize fighter who now works at the docks for the corrupt union leader Johnny Friendly. One night, he unwittingly leads a fellow worker to an ambush where he's killed, and throughout the film, thanks to influence from the local priest and the murder victim's kind sister, he wrestles with his conscience and with his desire to keep a low profile and stay alive. If he rats on Johnny Friendly, he'll surely be hunted down and killed, but if he doesn't, the guilt will eat away at his soul. The thing I liked the least about the film was the plot, and not because it was bad, rather because I personally found it a little difficult to get into. There are certain plot elements that flew over my head. It was a bit hard for me to follow at times, and I found myself reading about the film after watching it in order to understand it better. The movie deals with a bunch of subject matters that are just foreign to me, like dock workers and corrupt unions. Not the usual stuff I'm interested in. But that's more to my personal tastes and interests rather than the film itself. What the film does well, it does very well. Namely, the characters. Other than Marlon Brando's Terry Malloy, there's Eva Marie Saint in her feature film debut, who plays Edie. She's the sister of the man Terry led to his death, but throughout the film she develops feelings towards him, and their relationship is truly gripping. Johnny Friendly is played by Lee J. Cobb, who also played juror number three in 12 Angry Men. His character here is similar to that one, but I didn't care. He did an excellent job and he was a great villain and foil for Terry. And then there's Carl Malden who played the priest, and let me tell you, he's like the MVP of priests. He takes his job very seriously, so much so that he goes onto the streets and actively tries to clean up the corrupt mess. He also doesn't mess around. What did you say? Go to hell. Damn, dude, you crazy! To summarize, even though the plot isn't the most interesting to me, I think On the Waterfront is a great film, anchored by a truly remarkable lead performance. This is a must-watch if you're an acting fanatic, or if you just want to see a classic movie done right. On the Waterfront was a vast improvement over Gentleman's Agreement, let me tell you. It passes Rebecca and positions itself firmly amongst the top tier of the list. And of course, this will not be the last time we see Marlon Brando delivering a legendary performance. Up next is the 28th Best Picture winner, the shortest film ever to win Best Picture, and it's nice and sweet to boot, Marty. Check back tomorrow for the next video of DB Reviews Oscar Madness Marathon and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss a thing. Thank you all very much and let the journey continue.